G'day guys, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick. Today we're going to look at how to fix these funky keyframes in After Effects. That seems to bother a lot of people, especially when you first start. F this sh man. It's not an easy solution to figure out, especially because you have no idea why it's doing what it's doing. But I'm going to show you a couple of solutions on how to fix some of these issues. So let's get started. So before we jump into fixing this issue, you need to know why this happens. So generally speaking, when you have two keyframes and you add one in the middle, after Effects by default will try and smooth the motion path by using Bezier arcs to help your keyframes to help eliminate unnatural looking motion. But say you duplicate the keyframe and you move it across like this, you'll probably get a situation where the object boomerangs back and forth instead of standing still. But why, I hear you asking? This is because After Effects is attempting to smooth the motion between identical keyframes, which gives you this situation. It's hard to see, but if you start pulling the keyframes apart, you can see how the Bezier handles are adding additional smoothing keyframes to eliminate unnatural looking motion. But in this case, it is absolutely hot garbage. Okay, so I think this is actually kind of the easiest way to kind of fix this issue, which is basically using whole keyframes. Let's go to the first set of identical keyframes. Right click on them and toggle hold keyframe. It'll turn your current keyframe into either a square or a half triangle, half square. This is telling After Effects not to create any motion until it hits the next set of keyframes. Easy. This method is also great because it preserves the motion path arcs leading into the first set of keyframes and out of the second lot of keyframes. Now the second technique is a little bit more tricky. It's not that difficult, but it does take a little bit more finessing. Now this method is a little bit older, but I'll show it to you anyway. We'll select the two set of keyframes we want to hold, right click on them and select keyframe interpolation. From here, we want to change the spatial interpolation from continuous Bezier to linear. Now, the only downside of this older method is that you will lose your beautiful arcs in your motion, which perhaps you might want. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And if you thought this was useful in any way, shape or form, why don't you click that like button for me? It helps to get the video out there as well. Click that subscribe button because we've got new stuff coming out all the time. And if you want to support the channel, we do have a product that we want to vlog called the Lyric Video Creator Kit. It basically is a text template that you can use in your Premiere projects to not only create Lyric videos, but also just spruce up your motion graphics. Because really, who has time to make their own motion graphics all the time? Ain't nobody got time for that. Now, these are templates that I use actually myself quite a lot to actually get me through a lot of projects. So I hope they help you as well and it's a pretty cheap price so check it out go to the link in the description and download it today all right guys thanks for watching that is the end of the tutorial and uh, I've got a question for you for everybody who's made it to this part of the video do you put your milk before your cereal because uh, Herman over at the Olafemi channel basically told me that he met somebody who actually puts their milk before their cereal like a maniac so uh, leave a comment below and let me know how you guys do it all right guys peace